Hello to everyone. I hope all you are doing very good. We'll see module number one, oscillations and waves. In this module, we can see three chapters. First one, free oscillation. Second one, damped and forced oscillation. Third one is shock waves. Shock wave chapter is already covered in previous video. If you want to check it out, you can go for above by clicking I button. You can find two videos related to the shockwave chapter so that every concept is explained there. If you finish shockwave, then we'll start with module number one, that is first chapter, free oscillation. With this, let's roll the intro. In this video, we will try to cover concept-wise explanation according to VTU syllabus. Second one is concept-wise marks distribution as per VTU syllabus. Third one is model questions from previous VTU exam. So stay tuned, stay connected. In the first chapter, we are going to see the definition of SHM, derivation of equation for SHM, mechanical simple harmonic oscillator mass suspended to the spring oscillator co complex notation phase representation of simple harmonic motion equation of motion for free oscillation and last one is natural frequency of oscillation these are the chapters which is there in free oscillation below this syllabus we can see important question which is coming from chapter one that is free oscillation there are 10 expected question we can see in this chapter 8 marks question also there 4 marks question also there 6 marks question also there very easy concept but you need to listen it carefully let's start with first chapter free oscillation before we begin with the free oscillation let us try to understand some basic terms like a motion if any object or a body changes its position with respect to time that type of action we call it as a motion for example we have lot of types of motions are there periodic non-periodic oscillatory non-oscillatory projectile straight line all the types are there but we are not concentrating on oscillatory and shm for that we will start with two types mainly two types of motion that is non-periodic and periodic let's start with periodic motion consider any object or any body if that body repeats its path after some interval of time that type of motion we call it as a periodic motion for example pendulum or we can say a clock all the things where the same path is going to be repeated again and again again and again with respect to a time so that type of motion we call it as a periodic motion in second type there is non-periodic motion that means the object or any body is not going to repeat its path but it's continuously changing its path with respect to time is nothing but non-periodic we can also say it as a straight line motion or projectile motion so this is what we call it as a non-periodic motion once again the periodic motion is divided into two types oscillation and non-oscillatory motion in the case of oscillation or oscillatory motion let us see what happen consider a simple pendulum here in this video you can clearly see iron ball is continuously repeating the same path so this is the example for oscillator motion even though in circular motion also we can see the same what makes the difference in simple harmonic motion and circular motion see in this arrow mark you can see the mean position that means whenever the simple pendulum is going to be in a rest in position it will be in a mean position that we call it as equilibrium position in the case of non 
oscillatory motion that is what missing so that's why we call it as non oscillatory motion let us try to understand the non oscillatory motion by using this diagram see in this diagram you can't find any equilibrium position when body stop its motion or rotatory motion this is what we call it as non oscillatory body or circular motion these are the some basic concept related to the motion the motion which is divided into two types non periodic and periodic once again we'll go through periodic then we'll again we'll get oscillatory non oscillatory after that in that oscillation we'll get two types shm and non shm let us start with shm we know that what is periodic motion after this we will start with shm that means simple harmonic motion the definition for simple harmonic motion is is an oscillatory motion in which force acting on a body is directly proportional to the displacement or you can say another definition also simple harmonic motion is defined as the motion which repeats itself at angular interval of time these are the definition for the simple harmonic motion which may ask it in the semester exam for two marks and the example for shm is very simple simple pendulum pendulum of the wall clock wrist watch and many more examples you can give sometimes in video exam he may ask you to write about characteristics of shm for four marks sometimes he may ask you for six marks also so let us see one by one as we already know that shm comes under the periodic motion that means the path is always repeating so that's why the first characteristic say the motion must be a periodic type of motion this is the first characteristics let us see second one in second ch characteristics where oscillating system always continue its motion even though when we add a mass so this is the second characteristics of an shm which says oscillating system must have inertia which in terms means mass where in the third characteristics body must maintain its oscillation so to maintain the oscillation it must have a restoring force so in the third characteristics the constant restoring force continuously acting on a body so that it ensure the body is continuously oscillating this is the third characteristics to understand the fourth characteristics let us consider one simple pendulum in this iron ball is at equilibrium position at this point unless and until we apply the force the iron ball will not going to move it or it will not start oscillating to make it oscillation we must apply the force how can we apply the force just make move for a distance like this this is a displacement at the same time we are storing restoring force also by using that restoring force pendulum start oscillating this is what we call it as shm simple harmonic motion as per fourth characteristics acceleration is directly proportional to the displacement if we increase the acceleration we must increase the displacement if we increase the displacement automatically acceleration also going to be increased if we decrease the displacement automatically acceleration also going to be decreased so this is the fourth characteristics of the shm in the fifth characteristics the direction of acceleration is opposite to that of the displacement that means if we increase the displacement from its mean position that means we have to apply the force in opposite direction as we can see here then the pendulum will start to oscillate in opposite direction as we applied the force in one direction this is the fifth characteristics of a shm in the sixth characteristics this oscillation can be represented by a sine or cosine function such as x equals to a sin omega t x is the displacement at instant 
time t a is the amplitude omega is the angular frequency this is the previous year video question paper where he asked a question from the characteristics of shm in the next concept we are going to do differential equation of motion for shm this is an important derivation which may come for 8 marks in video exam let's start with differential equation of motion for shm let us consider one body which is initiated to an oscillatory motion after being displaced from its equilibrium position so once the body start oscillating where it is displaced from equilibrium position left free so we are not applying any force which is going to make or which is going to disturb the oscillatory motion after that the force which is acting on that body which makes oscillation that force we call it as an restoring force which we denoted as F capital F and let us consider equation number 1 F is equals to minus k into x where k is the proportionality constant known as spring constant and it is represented to amount of restoring force produced per unit elongation and the next let us consider restoring force f is equals to minus k into x so restoring force is nothing but newton's second law of motion where we are applying the force so write it in the form of equation that is m into d square x by dt square is equals to minus k into x take it as equation number two by simplifying the equation number two as we can see here in this we will get ultimately d square x by dt square plus k by m into x is equals to zero by replacing k by m is nothing but omega square we will get d square x by dt square plus omega square is equals to zero take it as equation number three this above equation represent an equation of motion for a body which is executing free vibrations when we solve equation number three we will get ultimately the sine function for a given vibration that is x equals to a sine omega t where a is the amplitude omega is the angular frequency and t is the time lapsed since sine and cosine functions are repetitive that's why we can call it as harmonic functions so from the equation number four the displacement varies sinusoidally with the time the symmetric about the equilibrium position hence this type of motion we referred as simple harmonic or shm motion so omega is the, called as natural frequency of vibration and that is equal to under root k by m which we can shown as follows differentiating the natural frequency of vibration that is equation number four with respect to t we will get dx by dt is equals to a omega cos omega t this is the equation once we differentiate with respect to t once again the differentiate the above equation we will get d square x by dt square is equals to minus a omega square sine omega t where we already know that x equals to a sin omega instead of writing a minus a omega square sin omega t we can write minus omega square into x by comparing equation number three where t square x by dt square plus omega square is equals to zero that equation number three is going to compare with equation number five where d square x by dt square plus omega square x is equals to zero so what are the common terms are there please cancel it out ultimately we will get omega square is equals to k by m if we remove the square then we will get omega is equals to under root k by m the body executing free oscillating or undamped vibration its angular frequency of vibration omega is given in the above equation that omega we call it as natural frequency of vibration